Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that now because I mean, it's work. So today guys, I really wanted to talk to, talk to you guys. So today I really wanted to talk to you guys about hair, my hair journey. I'm not gonna go fully, fully in depth um, if you guys want a whole video on that and then like what I actually use now it took a long time to like get here and it's still not perfect I'm still I'm still trying out new stuff which is why I'm not in love with my hair today um I cut it myself so I have to fix it it's kind of uneven but we'll talk about that later um, so my hair went from this <coughs> to this It was bad it was bad and just for disclaimer purposes that first photo was in 2017 however it didn't take me three years to get my hair uh back on track back to being healthy it's just that i didn't not that i didn't take it seriously for a long time i just didn't know as much as i do now and i still don't know everything don't do not get me wrong um but i did find more or less a rhythm with my hair i just wanted to share five item slash tips um for you guys that really really helped me with my hair so i just want to say before i actually get into the five things that heat damage is really like a major thing why curls just right it's major why like if you're straightening your hair flat ironing your hair or going to get it blown out once a month twice a month every other week that's twice if you're frequently putting intensive heat on your hair whether you're using a heat protectant or not it, you're gonna see that affect your curl pattern um which was my biggest issue i was straining my hair all the time and it killed my curls and i was just like okay like i don't know what i could do so i just didn't do anything <laughs> first mistake of many with my hair yeah, so I would say if you really, really, really want to achieve, you know, getting your curl pattern back, you really want to see your curls popping and healthy. And even if you don't have curls, guys, like it's hair, you need to, you know, treat it with love. Be nice to your hair, be nice to yourself, be nice to your body. Don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to not straighten your hair, to not blow out your hair. Just try not to do it so frequently and then when you do do a deep conditioning hair all that stuff make sure you if you treat it a little bad you you make up for it you know what i mean also dyeing your hair so again i'm not telling you to not dye your hair i actually want to get highlights myself when you dye your hair you really really need to pay that much more attention to it you need to you know show that much more love to it because you already applied a damaging product you know really really pay more attention to it um give it a little more bit more deep conditioning really you know crack down on the products you're using so those are just you know two little sidebars when it comes to hair that i felt like affected mine and that got me to the point where i was in 2017 and, and looking back i thought my listen i thought my hair was popping back then i thought it was everything i didn't want to cut it and that's another thing guys like this is just before we get into it um trim your hair frequently it does depend on your hair texture your hair type um i was told by a professional that i should trim my hair every three months three or four i don't know something like that but i do do it on my own now um just because i was going to the diva curl salon diva can salon and that's that's a whole other video but i was using diva curl for a really long time probably over two years um which i feel like also did affect my hair truthfully however the things i've been doing lately i've been paying extra close you know extra attention to my hair um and i feel like it really has paid off and by the way like my hair right now it's a little crazy i haven't I haven't washed it. Sorry. 
All right, guys, so let's get into the video. All right, so the first product that I want to talk about um, is this little guy. So I know you've probably seen it before. If you haven't, I'm about to change your life. So before this bottle, when, so I wash my hair twice a week, which again, put your hair on kind of like a schedule when it comes to washing it. Please don't wash it every single day. Again, you have to go buy your hair type, your hair texture, if it's oily or not. You know, you have to really play around with your hair in that sense, but put it on a schedule. So I wash my hair every Sundays and Wednesdays and it has worked for me. Truly, truly has worked for me. Um, but in between that, I would just put my hair up in a ponytail with one of these bad boys. Which I also suggest this. Just put my hair up in a ponytail while I slept, when I got home from work, what have you. And then in the morning, I would just take it down and then put like a little bit more product. But my curls were like dead. I was sleeping on them. So like my hair would look amazing the first day. And then the second day, it was like... And I want to shout out Miranda. I'm shout out Miranda. I work with her and her hair is amazing, guys. You have no idea. Um, and she would always tell me like, why is that be straight? And I'm like, girl, leave me alone. I slept on my hair and... And I wasn't really, you know, taking care of it in between my two wash days. So that was a major problem for me. So when I got this bad boy, now in between my wash days, I spray it, I dampen my hair, and then I go ahead and reapply some product, not too much. And it really just makes my life so much better. Let me let me show you all what the hype is about. Let me show y'all. Do you do you see that? Do you see that mist? If you just keep your finger on it, it's not stopping. I'm gonna be slipping and sliding when I get up. So you can find this on Amazon, truthfully. I don't know if it's in drugstores. You might find it in like Target. I don't know about CVS type drugstores. You might find it in Target and Walmart. Um, I got mine off Amazon. I'm pretty sure I paid like $11, $12 for it, which is, I know, for a water bottle, a water, a, <laughs> I know it's a little steep for a spray bottle. However, this really has changed my life in between wash days. Because if you get a regular spray bottle and it's just like, tch, 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 like what, what am I gonna do that with the, tch, 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 what am I gonna do? So I would really invest in one of these for those in between wash days. And low key, my mother bought one for Febreze. So to each his own all right number two i just want to say the whole side of my chair is soaking wet by the way do y'all like my makeup today if you guys want to know more about that the next thing i want to talk about guys oh my god is this bad boy this is a scalp massager shout out to steven my secret santa even though he gave it to me in march but we're not gonna talk about that he got this for me from Sephora. You do not have to get them from Sephora. They have some on Amazon. This in the shower, guys. Let me change your life. Shampooing with your fingers is not it. It could be it with a lot of like, you know, judging and smudging. Just a ton of effort. And even then you can't be 100% sure all that product buildup is out. You might feel like it's clean, but you might have some buildup. And that's going to affect how your hair whereas you know it's gonna affect a lot it's not gonna look as great it's not gonna be as clean so how i use this i go in the shower you know i soak my hair wet my hair cool water cool water i put shampoo on i a little doo -doo, and then i go in with this bad boy and i just scrub i scrub scalp all over now what this does is like i said it gets rid of product buildup it promotes hair growth and honestly it has helped me with my dry scalp because after diva curl like i said i might go get into it right now because i'm a little salty my scalp was literally flaking like it looked like i had to enter. but it was dry scalp and like Okay, and we're just gonna take that off. Yeah, so it doesn't look cute. 
when you have like if I wore my hair like this I would you would see flakes this would be white like it snowed in May which it did right I think I don't know I haven't gone on my house so I really 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 think this is a staple in your hair routine and again like this isn't even that cute Jesus. you don't need to have curly hair to use this guy it does not tug on your hair i know looking at it you're like mm, it's gonna pull my hair out not at all not at all not at all i promise you number three wow that was a lot of work guys okay, so i want to talk about this bad boy So again, shout out to Miranda. Put me on. So I never used to brush my hair in the shower at all. I never used to brush my hair, period. I don't have super like tight curls, you know what I mean? So I don't have that type of hair that just tangles up super easily. Um, so if you do, honestly, this might work that much more for you. Um, but my hair, I would just detangle with my, with my fingers when I would put my conditioner in and that was it. I would leave it at that. But this, guys, I use it several times throughout my, um, when I wash my hair. So I use it when I apply conditioner. I just, and then I like comb through the conditioner and then when I rinse it out, comb through it again to make sure it's all out. And then when I'm putting in my first product, which is a more thicker leave-in conditioner. Again, if you want my hair routine, you know, just leave a comment in the, the comments below. So I apply my first thicker product in and I will distribute it throughout my hair with this brush. So I highly, 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 highly recommend. I feel like my hair is less frizzier, which I do have a problem with. But this is amazing, amazing, amazing. I do recommend. I want to say it's about $13 on Amazon. This is a seven row um bad boy and i think they have a nine one check on amazon it might also be a target i'm not 100 sure but again shout out to miranda she would violate my hair all the time and i was like you know what let me get it together because i'm sick of miranda violating my hair and that's why i did number four all right guys a satin or silk pillowcase this is a satin pillowcase i got it from amazon please i know this is probably something that you've heard before this is um I feel like widely known tip when it comes to curly hair, but I feel like it's a hair thing in general. You know what I mean? Protect your hair from breakage. When you're rolling around in your sleep, you're laying down. If you're on a cotton pillowcase, you might get some breakage. Not on a satin pillowcase. And you'll wake up with less frizzier hair. And again, that's a problem that I had. And I have really felt like I've seen a difference with it. I use it. I've been using it for a very very long time so you can get it off amazon it's not as expensive as it sounds it's actually fairly cheap if you're getting satin um yeah because every time i say i use a satin pillowcase everyone's like oh my god you're so bougie amazon baby amazon and the last thing i want to mention number five is not a product it's more of a really big tip <laughs> pay attention to the ingredients, the actual ingredients on the back of the product. So there's so many times where people, and me included, like this this was me not too long ago. You go into whatever store, CVS, Target, Walmart, you go into one of these stores and you look at hair products and it's like, oh, provides moisture with shea butter, with X, blah, 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 all this stuff. And you're like, oh, okay, sounds good. And you pick it up, but you turn it on the back and it has dimethicone, it has sulfates, it has, you know, all this stuff. Don't put that in your hair. And I know it's a little bit overwhelming. I, listen, I'm not saying to understand every chemical name for a product. I don't even know every name of a product, but I know how to recognize if something is a dimethicone, if something's a sulfate. Um... And then if I see something that just looks weird, I'll Google it. Literally, you could just Google an ingredient and it'll tell you what it is. So just please, please, please pay att attention to the actual ingredients listed on the back of the bottle. You really have to find that perfect smoothie for your hair, that perfect combination. 
smoothing but I feel like these are great general tips and things like to use to get you in that motion of getting yourself on track um because listen guys product does matter it matters what's in the products um and you might use it once and it might look amazing but over time diva curl you might see that it's negatively affecting your hair or it's not doing anything for your hair and you don't want that either why are you using something that's not doing anything for your hair so yeah guys i really hope you gained something from this video i really hope you enjoyed it and again if you want to see my actual hair routine let me know you just comment down below if you don't you don't give a crap about what i use um like the video but make sure you guys are subscribed um like comment share all that jizzy jet not jizzy jazz all that jazz that's it without the jizzy all right guys i hope you're staying safe being well and i'll see you next time bye